I'm Dr. Laura Gifford. The results that we have gotten in this place clinically have been astounding. We need to eat food that's real. Ditch the sugars and the grain. Fat doesn't make you fat. Fat does not cause heart disease. You literally are what you eat. Let's talk about insulin and where it comes from and what happens um, in, in the body. I'm Dr. Jillian Murphy. This is definitely not what I was taught in school. This is what I thought that food should be able to do for people. There's that old adage, you are what you eat, but you really actually are what you digest. The ultimate health combination is vegetables plus protein plus healthy fat. Cholesterol gets such a bad rap. All of our sex hormones come from cholesterol. Healthy poop versus not so healthy poop. Any questions about that? I'm Michelle McKelpin. 80% of our body composition is based on what we eat. Move frequently at a slow pace. Lift heavy things. Resistance training. It's not too late. You can put muscle mass on at any age. You really don't need weights or machines. Posture is really, really important. If it comes from a factory and has and has an ingredients list, it's not, it's not whole food, it's not the way nature intended it. And you'd be amazed, we, we are abundant the amount of food we actually have that comes from the earth or roams the earth. That's really what we're designed to eat. Okay, so welcome everyone to the Live Well Center. Just so I get a better idea, who has been here before to the center? So, yes, yes. So most people have been. You have not been here before. You haven't been here before. You guys have been here. You've been here before. Um, briefly. So I'm Dr. Laura Gifford. I am a chiropractor and I own the Live Well Center with my husband, Dr. Peter Payne, who's not here. So um, I'll be one of the people teaching the course through the next eight weeks. Tonight's, tonight's class is really an introduction um, to everything that we're going to be covering in the next eight weeks. A lot of people in the past have found it really overwhelming, the first one. They're just like, whoa, blown away a little bit. Because we're touching on all the things that we're going to go into much further, further depth. So hopefully tonight you go home with your mind kind of blowing a little bit and whirling with lots of questions and lots of, um, maybe even lots of doubts, that sort of thing. That's a, that's a good thing. We want you to go home tonight and really, really be questioning what you heard, researching it a little bit and whatnot. So I will go into more of an introduction about myself and my background but we're going to let Dr. Murphy and Michelle introduce themselves and then they're going to leave tonight and then just leave everything else up to me. Yeah, okay. So I'm Dr. Jillian Murphy and I'm the naturopath here at the clinic. I've seen I see lots of familiar faces, which is great. Um, I like to sort of, when I'm introducing myself, kind of talk about education and then sort of how I came to use this diet in my practice because this is not, you know, things are changing and this is becoming more mainstream. But this is definitely not what I was taught in school and, and um, not what you're going to hear from a lot of holistic nutritionists at this point in time. So I think it's interesting to sort of talk about that. Um, I went to the University of New Brunswick and I did um, my undergraduate degree in sports science. And then I... I sort of planned to go on to medicine, but within that undergraduate degree, I moved to Europe and I sort of got introduced to um, naturopathic philosophies and ideals that were sort of built into their medical system. So um, it wasn't really considered alternative there. It was just part of the medical process to take homeopathics and use herbs and got interested in it. And when I came back to my undergraduate degree, um, within the first week, there was a uh, find out more about naturopathic medicine in Canada kind of uh, I guess it was just like a meet and greet with a representative from the school and it kind of felt like serendipity, you know, like that's perfect, that's exactly what I was thinking. So um, after I finished my degree there, I went and I did four years at the Canadian College of Naturopathic Medicine in Toronto. And that program was um, a lot like a, like a family medical program. So a little bit shorter, but um, very much like, like a family medical doctor would learn in medical school. Uh, obviously a lot heavier on alternative therapies. Um, and less of pharmaceuticals, but in terms of sort of diagnosis and the way we look at health, um, quite a few similarities. The main difference is being um, in, in the philosophy of treatment is really the difference. So that's my background. And then, like I sort of said, this is, um, you know, paleo or primal nutrition that we're going to be talking about within this lifestyle challenge is really different from what I learned about in school. And so, um, in school, the philosophy was very much um, whole grain, 
really whole grain, really low saturated fat. Um, I, I mean, honestly, at this point, I feel like it, it was just really antiquated information that they were giving us. And at the very end of my education, uh, a young guy came in, a master's student, and he started, he took over the nutrition program and he started teaching us and he was teaching us you know, much more this information and uh, was really <laughs> disliked by a lot of vegetarian naturopaths. You know, he was not received well. Um, and then in the years following my graduation, as I went to conferences, um, more and more often, you know, the PhD representative who was there teaching nutrition was teaching um, paleo nutrition, or they were calling it ancestral nutrition. So it was sort of part of the ancestral food movement. And I got interested, but still, you know, still was a little bit resistant to the idea because it was so different from what I had learned. Um, and then I moved into this clinic, and uh, Laura was getting interested in this kind of eating and, and just reading a lot of Dr. Mercola, who really, who really promotes this style of eating. And I was just feeling like a little stumped with some patients, you know, like things that I was taught naturopaths were really good at treating, like eczema and um, ulcerative colitis and anxiety. There's like a number of things that I was sort of told, you know, like when you're done, you're going to be really good at treating this. And the results were just kind of iffy. Like, you know, there was definitely um, some forward movement because when you go to a, uh, you know, a brown rice diet or whatever it happens to be, you're cutting out a lot of processed foods. But I thought that the results were um, really not what I was expecting overall. And so when Laura was really getting into sort of Mark Sisson's work, um, I just decided to kind of take a leap of faith and start using it in my own practice. And the results were like incredible, like super incredible. Like this is what I thought that food should be able to do for people, you know? And, um, and then from there, <laughs> then seeing the results really started getting into sort of the research side of it. And, um, you know, going through all the questions and doubts that you guys are going to have as you go through when you when you learn about it, and um, going through and learning more about the things that were challenging what I thought about nutrition. So um, it's been I've been using it for about three years now in my practice, and um, the results are just really incredible. So um, I hope everybody learns a lot over the next eight weeks, and you just really try it on for size, and 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 you know, see how it feels for you and just really sort of go into it with an open mind <laughs> and, uh, and, and figure it out for yourself. Yeah. So that's it for me for tonight, but I'll be seeing you guys a lot. Like the first couple of lectures are sort of Laura and Michelle. And after that, I'm kind of covering the end of, of the program. So I'll be in and out. And if you have questions, email me. So, um, a lot of times if people are like, especially when you start to do this stuff on your own, um, Questions or issues sometimes. Can you give them your email? Because it's not up there. I didn't write it in. I Do you want me to start taking <coughs> business cards? Maybe? That's a good idea. When you yeah, go. So I can leave I'll business cards. And and it's, not up, it's not up there. Don't hesitate to just drop me a line. You know, like I'm trying this and this is how it feels. And, you know, often when you're trying something new, like, you know, you're, like Laura said, you're going to get a lot of information tonight. And sometimes it's hard to absorb all of the information. So sometimes we just absorb certain parts of the information that resonate with us. And when you start to apply it, um, you, you totally forget about things. So sometimes it just helps to email someone. And if someone say, okay, but remember, <laughs> you also have to do these things. You know, you're sort of taking some of the information, not all of it. But uh, yeah, so just don't hesitate to email me. Okay? Okay. Bye, Joan. Me. You're up. Yes. Okay, I'm Michelle McAlpin, and I'm the kinesiologist here at the Liverpool Center, so you guys are going to get to know me very well on the other side of the clinic, in the gym. Hopefully that's our plan, at least. Um, so I'll just give you a little background about how I ate paleo. So when I first got the job here, it was um, the month of one of our first challenges. Or not, our, you had been doing it. But it, you were just the challenge. Mm. Yeah. This challenge just started, and I was all excited I got a new job, and I <laughs> thought I knew everything, and then I... Part of my job was to come and sit like you guys are in the uh, lecture, and I was blown away with how much I that I learned in school that I just came out of a phys ed degree, so a lot of nutrition classes, um, thinking I was living so healthy and could do no wrong. And then I sat like you guys for eight weeks and learned a lot more than I learned in those nutrition classes I paid a lot of money for <laughs> through university. So um, I read a quote the other day that said, um, most people have no idea how well their body is designed to feel. 
and I feel like that's a perfect mm -hmm. quote for this challenge. Um, like I said, I was a student, so um, up late, sometimes not always the best um, eating habits. Um, with studying especially, I remember one time calling my mom crying that I, don't, that I didn't remember the last time I ate a vegetable. <laughs> so anyways, when I came here, um, I started to have to work 6 a.m. shifts. And coming out of the student life, that was very hard to do. I like went to bed at 6 a.m., I think, some nights in university. So this um, lifestyle challenge completely changed the way I eat and the way I live. And the biggest thing for me was my sleep and not crashing throughout the days. So I don't know about you guys, but I was notorious for feeling great and then having coffee and eating and then crashing. And then my friends would know to kind of stay back from me until I got food again, and then I was happy, and then I would crash. Um, it wasn't the best way to live, but I thought that was normal. So that was my biggest thing when I did this challenge, that I was like, I can go all day without being miserable. It's like that, oh, Henry commercial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that was me. I should have applied for that job. And anyway, so um, basically this changed my life, and I've never looked back since. Um, I'm a strong believer in it. I have a blog as well on the stuff I think it's up there. Yeah. The, um, yeah, so it's now, uh, yeah, like I said, I've never looked back and I love it and I feel so much better and I, I'm not late for my 6 a.m. shifts. Which is nice. <laughs> and I'm not grumpy in the afternoon, so don't be afraid to book, book afternoon appointments with me. So, um, what you guys need from me, or what I'm going to help with, is, like I said, all the gym stuff. So, you may be aware, you might not, but with your um, purchase of the challenge, you get um, quite a bit of stuff in at the gym. So, you get free classes, or fitness classes. Um, hopefully, everyone takes advantage of that, because you're saving, one, a lot of money, and you get to try them out, and they're very good. I think I might be biased. But... Um, so Ben and Sarah who are at the back, they're also the fitness instructors here. So it'll be the three of us that you'll get to know. So what I'm going to do is grab everyone's email tonight when before you guys leave with Catherine. You're going to leave your email. And I'm going to send you a big email tomorrow with all of the information. But basically what we need from you guys in the next two weeks is to book with a functional movement screen. So has anyone had one? I don't recognize anyone, so I guess not. But um, so it's called the functional movement screen, and basically we're just going to put you through a range of or a, a group of test sort of movement assessments. And it's just look, we're kind of looking for any uh, weak links, any um, movement patterns that may cause problems, any faulty movement patterns. Um, Basically, anything that may cause injury when you get into the gym and actually lifting some weights, or even in your daily life. Mm -hmm. um, it's really great. I think every, everyone should do it, especially now that it's included. So basically, you're going to come in for the screen, and we'll do that on you. It takes about an hour, and then you get a corrective exercise program. So say if I, we find something that um, kind of stands out that you really need to work on, not a surprise for a lot of people, it's upper back <laughs> mobility from sitting. We do a test to see if um, you know, we're kind of stuck in this position quite often, so posture and upper back mobility and hips are a big thing. And then we'll send you home with a program and you get to work on it at home on your own time. And it's designed for you. Is that separate from this hour and a half? Or oh yeah, it included yeah. in this hour now. No, this is only this is the lecture time, and all the other times on your own time, you just book it through Michelle. Oh, okay. yeah, so yeah. She'll she'll email you a bunch of separate times that are options for you to come in. Oh, okay. yeah. No, there's far too much class learning to do. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go home. No, yeah, we'll be here all night. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, this will time. be yeah, it'll be separate. Um, tomorrow's email will be very detailed. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a heads up of what why I'm going to write you a novel, <laughs> but um, it will be. Um, separate so hopefully sometime can work throughout the week mm -hmm. and like I said there's three of us which is really nice uh, sometimes it's just me here so we can break off and hopefully we can accommodate everyone's schedule mm -hmm. so that's the first thing is you'll need to book a functional screen and in that functional screen hour you'll also get a body composition test Mm -hmm. yeah. um, which is very exciting. Um, the first one's not always exciting, but the one you get at the end of the challenge is the one that we like to see. So basically it's looking at where your body fat um, is right now in a percentage and a few other things. And then like I said, we'll do it again at the end and you can see any changes that you've made over the eight weeks. And I have been, this is my fourth challenge that I've been working at and I've seen some crazy results. Like absolutely wonderful, and I've seen quite a few people. They keep coming back, so every 
six months, eight months, they do their body fat percentage with me, and it is like a steady decrease down when they stick to this. So um, I can explain more about that, but I've seen amazing results, which also make me stick to it. Um, so that's the one thing. So the functional movement screen. I sometimes short form it as FMS, so that's what I'm talking about for that. The other thing that we're going to do, um, so because everyone gets unlimited fitness classes, some people that are already doing our classes have been doing them for a while and know some of the movements. So we're going to run what we're calling a foundations class. And what that is, is we're just going to have you come in. It can be one-on-one. -on -one. It can be in a group if sometimes work out. And basically, we're just going to go over some basic movements that you may know how to do, maybe haven't been told, and just so you learn to prevent injuries. So the biggest thing at our gym that you will notice is we are very critical on form so that no one gets injured. Um, we do sometimes lift weights and we want to make sure everyone's doing it properly and we strongly believe that you should be able to do all body weight movements safely before you think about adding any weights or anything else to your fitness um, plan. So what you'll we'll do is it'll be an hour class separate from the FMS, like I said you're <laughs> going to get to know us very well in there. Um, and it will be an hour class where the three of us or one or two of the three of us are going to explain like a, a squat, a push up a sit up, basic body weight movements. Le hopefully you leave all very feeling comfortable with it and then when you come in for the class you're already kind of ahead of the game and it will be a smooth transition. Does that make sense? Any questions about that? You said unlimited uh, exercise program. So we could come in four times a day, or four times a week? To the classes? Yeah. You're not going to want to come in yeah. four times a week. <laughs> yeah, you will die. <laughs> it's not that kind of exercise. Probably, I mean, most people have only ever maximum done probably two, um, maybe three, um, depending on, because the whole idea is it's really, really high, it's quite high intensity, um, but it is unlimited, but you probably, I wouldn't encourage it because it's actually detrimental to your, to, to exercise that much in the, in the beginning, but it depends on your exercise and you can talk, you guys can talk individually mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. 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 So, like I said, I'll send you an email tomorrow, so we'll be looking to book the, those two appointments with the three of us. We're hoping to get everyone in for them in the next two weeks, because eight weeks is going to go by pretty quick, and we want to have a good solid six weeks of you being able to get to as many classes as you can. Um, the other great thing about there being the three of us is we're going to kind of make new class times just for you guys, mm -hmm. um, which is great and has kind of been the problem before is trying to work around everyone's schedule with our already made uh, gym schedule so we're going to add some more so I'll be asking for feedback tomorrow in the email or whenever you can get back to me as to when classes work for you um, because if a few of you really can really want one time then we'll accommodate that um, yeah are there any questions about the fitness stuff I think you guys will like it we uh, our last group with the they're all still yeah. Coming. They're all yeah. It's great actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're really amazing. So, got um, them hooked. Yeah. yeah that's uh, good. Uh, is everybody warm? Thanks, Mish. That's yeah. awesome. Um, how is everybody too warm? Or you're okay? All right. Perfect. So. Tonight is going to be um, a little longer. We won't run this like I can the room on too. We will try and keep them so that you're out of here by eight o'clock. The first night we're going over a lot of things, and I just have to remind myself, and you guys have to remind yourselves that we will be reviewing every topic again in depth over the next over the next eight weeks. So if I don't cover something totally um, and I've left questions in your head, it, they'll probably get answered in the following weeks. I'll give you some of my background. Um, I was fortunate enough to grow up in a household where my parents were like nutrition freaks. Um, so this is probably where I got all of my passion about nutrition. Um, as a little kid, nobody would trade lunches with me ever. <laughs> um, like I never like please can I have some of your chocolate milk and your Joe Louis but you know I had homemade brown bread and you know homemade peanut butter all this sort of stuff so I, I, I really I'm blessed to have grown up on whole food we were never allowed it with this is the 70s right when all that sort of new stuff the wagon wheels all that sort of stuff was coming out if you watch Mad Men it's all like this processed stuff that comes in um, so that that was the start of getting really away from home cooked meals but my mom sort of continued that which is which is great and um, 
And then I was um, an elite alpine skier, so I, I raced uh, internationally. I was on the provincial alpine ski team, national development team. So nutrition was a really important part of that as well. Our coaches, thank goodness, were really, really in. Like we were not allowed to have sugar. We were not allowed to have like we had to eat meat. We, it was it was great. I wish back then that I had known about this paleo diet and this so this kind of primal lifestyle because as ski racers we needed to be big and strong and all the girls were lean and skinny because we used to run all the time and it was just sort of silly and backward and um, I wish I'd known then what I know now. Um, so that, I was still into nutrition and fitness and health my whole life, I was fortunate with that and then I did, went to, came to Queen's and did a phys ed degree and a biology degree and still with an avid interest in nutrition and health, went on to chiropractic college and again, um, traditional nutrition, similar to what, um, to what Jillian was taught. And I was a runner. I started doing triathlons, whole foods, whole grains. You know, the traditional thought I was the healthiest I could be, this sort of stuff. And then I started having children. And our second child was about six or seven months when you start feeding. Who has children? Who has children? Yeah, so most, if I speak about it, you'll understand. So, um, when I, you start feeding them solids around six or seven months. Well, this healthy, robust baby, I started feeding her the rice cereal that we're all told that you're supposed to give your, your, give your children. Um, her digestive system completely shut down, like completely, the, within a day, gone. I was like, what the heck, what's going on? Went to the doctor, which I don't often do, went to, went to a naturopath, called a girlfriend who's a, like an alternative nutritionist in Toronto. All of them were giving me solutions like, um, well, give her prunes. Um, give her cod liver oil, make it slippery so she can have a bowel movement. Like she was really bound up, like she could not have a bowel movement and she was really, really uncomfortable. Um, so no one really had these answers. And then, I don't know where I found it, someone had, I heard something about grains that they can actually cause problems. So I started digging and digging and digging and um, from a little bit of research I, I learned a lot that these are not things that humans digest very easily and we will do, a, we're doing a whole lecture on that. So. We took her immediately off grains, and um, and her gut healed, and she's like super, super healthy, super strong. Although we only took her off grains until she was about two, um, and then you know we went we went back right on them. I don't know why I thought children change when they're two, <laughs> but um, and then we had our third son, and he didn't get grains until he was two. So we were doing it with our children. Peter and I were still eating normal, um, you know, still running and doing all these things. But then after my third baby, I was exhausted all the time. I looked fine. I've never, I've never been a person, um, luckily, that has really struggled with my weight, but I felt awful. I was tired. I was like having to drink coffee and eat sugar. I was like Michelle was saying, like I was crashing, I was up and I was crashing. I really didn't feel well. And the only way I felt that I could lose weight was to run. And I was running and running these long distances and you know, running at a time. I had to run for two hours a day in order to sort of feel like I, you know, this calories in and calories out and all this sort of stuff. I was kind of driving myself a bit crazy and one time I'm on a run and I'm kind of crashing because my sugars are getting lower and I grab one of those like um, you know those gel things that runners eat and I'm yeah. halfway through eating I'm like what the hell am I doing I'm eating like I'm running so hard that I'm bonking and I'm having to eat this synthetic god only knows what so I stopped I stopped running I was like this is this is not right started looking into it I took a holistic nutrition and lifestyle course through the Czech Institute. If you ever want to look into something amazing, Paul Czech is amazing. He's a little crazy, but really, really fantastic stuff if you guys are interested. And I took that course. It changed my life completely. It was all about, you know, not eat, like eating traditionally, eating how the human body was designed to actually eat. So that was, um, that was then, and um, about three years ago, so we changed how we ate completely. We still weren't paleo, but we weren't eating um, processed foods anymore. Like I threw out all our cereals. We haven't had box cereal in our house um, in, well, how old's Katie? In probably eight and a half, eight years, seven, seven and a half years, we haven't had box cereal in our house, like things like that. But then I found Mark Sisson, who I'll, I refer to a lot tonight, and three years ago, I decided to do one of his challenges for 30 days. I said, hey, I can do anything for 30 Pete actually found it. He said, you should try this. You'd like it. Um, I'm like, I'll do anything for 30 days. Tried it, and I've never gone back. I felt amazing. My energy level was great. Um, I didn't have a lot of weight to lose, so I didn't lose a ton of weight. But my energy and my muscle mass started going up. And just these, some of these symptoms, these weird muscly symptoms that I was having, they all went away. 
Um, and even if I found out tomorrow that this diet was going to kill me, I wouldn't change because <laughs> it makes me feel really, really good. And we've seen amazing changes. Our whole family does it. We raise our kids that way. Our kids are about 80, 20. Um, Peter eats that way. His parents eat that way. My, my sister-in-law, my brother, my nephew, major health changes with them. Um, so there's been, a, we've just have had this trickle effect of people around us who are now eating this way going on sort of one, two, three, three years.